Hey y'all, Brie the Brat here. I have a My Pretty Pony. If you watch the um, Toys That Made Us, it was featured recently. And she is the predecessor to My Little Pony. This is before they thought of all the wonderful colors and having a smaller doll to, to work with. And um, she is probably from 1980, I think. So she's had some wear and some play happen here. And um, I guess she's been to some, some uh, hippie rock concerts and she got some dreadlocks. But we're going to fix her up. And hopefully we can get her looking a lot better. Get rid of these stickers, some of these marks. And um, so let's get fixing. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flat iron that has an adjustable temperature gauge on it so I can get a very low temperature. And this is not going to work on all doll hair. you got to test it because some doll hair is not going to take any heat at all. And you couldn't do this. But this one and some of the My Little Ponies, the earlier ones, will be able to take a little bit of heat and um, will be able to iron out these kinks and be able to brush it out better. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give her a good wash, maybe some conditioner, or some people use fabric softener. I think they work both really well. So I'm here at the sink and I'm just going to wash the hair and wash the tail. Now usually what people would like to do so they don't get any water in the eyes and the sleepy eyes and get inside the body is you put a piece of cotton over, tape it down so then water doesn't get in. But I've got this bucket here and I'm going to be very careful and just keep the water inside this area and not get it all over her. Okay, so I'm going to use just some shampoo and some conditioner. Um, you know, some people will use dish soap. Dish soap is fine. It gets a little too um, drying. And conditioner, you could use fabric softener. People use that too. I find it's about the same. Uh, conditioner might leave more maybe of a residue, but so might softener. But... Nothing that you're going to notice. It's going to be more of a soft um, feeling than anything else. So let's go ahead and wash the hair. And we'll just try to get it cleaned and get it conditioned and then uh, dry it. As I am shampooing, I'm just trying to gently pull apart all these kind of matted, tangled areas. Making sure I get everywhere and get it clean. Just in case there's anything yucky on there that is making it matted and tangled. So now that I have it washed and rinsed, I'm going to put on some conditioner and I'm going to massage it through, um, get it in between all those mats, kind of separate them out, try to get it everywhere, just cover the hair, and then I'm going to let it sit while I wash the tail.
Okay, and now I'm going to let this sit with the conditioner on it, and we'll rinse out the main. Now doing this, I've attempted to brush it while it has conditioner, or comb it while it has conditioner, or when it's wet, and that really didn't do much for me, even using my uh, wonderful wet brush. So we're going to just rinse this all out, let it dry, and then go after it with a brush. Okay, I'm just going to let her lay out on this towel, let her dry, and then maybe remove that sticker, and uh, we'll brush her hair. Okay, so this cute little sticker has probably been here since the 80s, so let's see how easy it comes off. Whoop, okay. Let's see here. I'm going to try to get this off. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to scrape it off with my nails and then I'm going to use some Goo Gone to just get the residue off. You got to be careful with Goo Gone because sometimes it can have some uh, melting effect on certain kinds of things, so certain kinds of material. So. Just got to test a little edge, make sure it doesn't do anything. Let me just test. Oh, well, there's a sticker under here. Okay. Test it under the foot a little bit. Try to get this residue off. off here. Oh, still a little more. And then I'm going to hit that with some Windex or cleaner just to neutralize that stuff. So let's take it up here. I get all the sticker residue. There doesn't seem to be much left. It was pretty dried up. Let's see. Oh, it looks pretty good. Goo Gone is great for getting residue and stuff like that that doesn't just come off when you clean it. So now I'm just going to clean it with some just some mild cleaner kind of stuff, Windex. Just spray that on here. And just clean her up real good. Neutralize that stuff. And then I'll just continue to clean her, make sure she comes pretty clean. All these little spots come off. You can also use maybe like a a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser if there's marks, but that always kind of dolls up the shine, so you want to be careful with that. I have this brush. It's a wet-dry brush. These, It has these really soft, pliable um, bristles. And man, if you have long hair, um, heck, if you have hair, these things are so awesome. I have um, thick hair, and it gets so knotted. And this, I wish I'd had it my whole life. But it's so great for untangling hair without pulling it. And you can just brush and brush and it doesn't, and it, it doesn't pull much. It just detangles as it goes. So this is going to be just me trying to brush out some of these knots. And you can see as I'm doing it, like hairs are going to be pulling out. And that's fine. I mean... We got to work on this stuff, so let's just try to brush it a little bit, and 
see if we can detangle it anyway by doing this. And I'll just continue brushing the ends and doing that until I get pretty good um, as much as I can detangle from doing this. So I'm just going to go piece by piece. But you can see how how kinky how kinky it is here. That's not so much of the tangle, but just the hair being kinked up. So I'm going to try to brush it as good as I can, get a really um, nice brushed out mane, tail and mane, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, let's brush out this mane. It doesn't give much. Don't expect too much of it because it's still going to be this crinkly mat. You're just going to have it separated a little bit more, probably. But in the next step, we'll be able to get some of that all out. You'll see. And, I mean, for the tail... This is really the best I could get from it just by brushing. It's all kind of separated, but it's still very, you know, rough and frayed. So I have this flat iron that has a ceramic plate and um, it has adjustable heat. Let's turn it on here. So it has a temperature setting here. And I'm just going to put it at a low temperature. Like for this, I usually do, for my own hair, I do probably like 250 or something. But for this, I'm going to do a very low setting. And let's see, that's about low. Probably lowest. I'm going to let it warm up. Um, Got to do a very low setting. And um, letting it warm up here. And test before you do anything major. Like these little sections on the bottom here, I can test here, see if they melt or if anything happens. Usually, like, older doll's hair is a little more resilient than newer. And I'm talking, like, 60s versus 70s. Um, like an older 60s kind of doll hair can usually handle heat, but like a later 70s doll hair will just shrivel right up when heat even comes close to it. So you want to test to make sure that it's going to work for the hair. Looks like we're warmed up here. And I'm just going to take this little section, put it through. Now, do you see how that just straightened it right up? I still have some wet spots here, so I don't want to hit those. But, yeah, you can see how it is just straightening that hair right out. So I'm going to work on the tail first, and then I'll come to the mane. Oh. Okay, and let me just... Pull this through. Look at that already. And then it'll be easier to brush it because it's kind of calming down. Oh yeah, it's making a big difference already. So I'm going to go through and do that. Let's just section it out.
Okay, so I'm at this point where it's looking pretty good. It takes, it's a lot of patience, kind of brushing and then going back to the flat iron. Oops. Didn't mean to push you around there. Okay, and, and brushing. So I'm at this point where I'm pretty happy how it is, but the ends are still kind of a mess. So I'm actually going to kind of clip off, move this here a little bit. I'm gonna clip off some of the ends just straight across. So not taking too much, just a little, just these fraying ends. And I'm going to go back over with this and see how I'm kind of twisting it. So it has a little bit of a, a curl to the end when I get there, just to be nice. I'll do that a couple times here. Maybe come this way. Go the opposite way. Come back to that. Now look how shiny that has become. And I could clip off a little bit more of just these bad ends and kind of keep going over it to really get these ends. But it's in pretty good shape. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, same thing with this mane. We're just going to take it in sections and straighten. And brush and straighten and brush until we feel like all the knots are out and it's getting pretty smooth and we our patience has outlasted. And then I'll just you know, cut off whatever ends you can see already. It's the straightening is really smoothing it out already. I mean, some of this is tangles, so we got to still get these tangles out. But look at the effect already of using the straightener. Okay, work on this a little bit, get it to a good spot, and then we'll do a little trimming on it, see how it looks. pretty good so I'm just gonna try to shape it here still a little um, craggly on the bottom but I think it's way better shape than it was and really that's just patience and going after like each strand one by one so I just want to kind of curl the ends over so it looks nice this hangs there kind of nice so that's what I'm doing now. Well, 
Okay, so now here I am. I'm just kind of trying to curl it. Have it fall nicely. Looks pretty good. She's all done. I think, you know, you could go keep going over and making those hairs a little nicer, cutting off bad ends. But aesthetically, I think she looks pretty good. And her hair looks pretty nice. It's, it's brushable, but... Um, really there are still some rough ends that could either be cut off or actually keep treating until they kind of go away, but you have to get really small sections and just have patience. So there she is. If you pull this little thing here, her eyes close and her ears wiggle. Okay, this eye doesn't seem to be closing, but it's a sleepy eye, too. <laughs> and the tail, and the tail will wiggle a little bit, too. My pretty pony. All right, thanks for following me through this, and I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye!